welcome to this video about the moon and Venus in Capricorn. I make a series of videos of the moon in the sign and the Venus in the sign and with a very simple intention. The intention is very simply to understand oneself a little bit better and also if you are living together with someone with the moon in Capricorn or Venus in Capricorn to understand them better, especially when we don't. So, what is the distinction between Moon and Venus? There is a distinction. Venus is all about what we like and um, not only in what we like in a person, but also the landscape that we like, uh, the clothing that we like, um, and so on. And our value system. What do we value? We value Capricorn-like items. And um, the moon. The moon is all about our emotions, of course, and the way that we react upon um, a situation. Do we react slowly? Do we react very fast? Do we react heavy or cool? And so on. So how is it when we have a Venus in Capricorn or a moon in Capricorn? Let's have a look. We, let's start with Venus in, in Capricorn. When it concerns Venus and Capricorn, I always think that these are the people that are very classy in some kind of way, whether it is their clothing or whether it is their action, their manners, there is a classiness about it. And um, even when it considers um, being competent, I think Venus is a position, when you've got Venus in Capricorn, or maybe Venus conjuncting Saturn, it, it always adds to being um, competent and to be very uh, cool. And it's very good for business, I think, when you've got this position, because you won't show your feelings in a demonstrative way. Actually, you are very good at mastering the feelings that you're having. And um, it's a, a position of Venus that is very much in control. And that's why I think it's good for business. It's good for being a professional in, your, in, the, in, in the kind of job that you're in. But in love, it's always the case that you will probably, probably attract someone who's got a social status or who's, you know, who's um, achieved something in his life or her life. And that's probably the case with you. So it's a quite traditional position of Venus, um, unless it's conjuncting Uranus or something. But what else for a Venus in Capricorn, aside from the classy, styly and uh, expensive clothing? So um, they could really um, love, or they have this love for reliable people. They have this love for older people. Um, I mean, people who have reached a certain status and they really do get their values just by achieving something or by the achievements that they're doing. And, um, but Venus in Saturn isn't going to uh, really um, express itself in a very fiery way because it's simply uh, ruled by Saturn, which is very mature. Now, let's have a look when you've got Moon in Capricorn. What is that all about? Well, Moon in Capricorn is said not the easiest position to have, but there are, as always, um, advantages and disadvantages about a Moon in um, Capricorn. But first of all, if you, if you are a man having if you're a mum having moon in Capricorn, how will you react towards your children? You will react probably in a very practical way. And these are the kind of mums that are always making sure that, um, so they have a high sense of uh, responsibility. So they will always make sure that, that everything is okay with the kid, that you know, um, uh, that they know uh, how th their homework and all these stuff and the clothing and so on, all these very practical things. They are very good at it and um, 
I always make sure that um, uh, the child that they always take responsibility in a almost it's like the moon in a in a father sign so almost in a fathering way um, so they are really good and that's okay it's a moon why do they say that it is difficult the moon in Capricorn because it is in the easiest position to express its its emotions because emotions normally they tend to flow they tend to go with the flow and they tend um, that's why it's uh, um, very strong in cancer because it's in its own sign and now it's in the opposite sign but the good thing about a moon in Capricorn especially when you live in with someone with a moon in Capricorn they are very well managed they are very um, they can master their emotions so and that can be a good thing that's not always easy when you're living together with someone with the moon in capricorn because they are not the easiest one to reach out to um so uh they can put a wall uh of um uh they can put a wall in front of them and that isn't easy to reach out but the good thing is that they are very calm and they are really planners they are really planners and they don't want any risk that's typical capricorn they want to exclude any risk you know when you're traveling with these people mostly their travels are planned and mostly they um uh you know they have everything with them medication and all of that you know the practical side of life and um, they're very much prepared or they want to have things in control so it's a very controlling position of the moon and um that's why uh, they feel very responsible they it, it's they feel very, very um uh but reserved at times it's not always easy to to uh, understand this moon in capricorn because it's not that open but very respectful very useful they have the very sense and the very need of being productive so they want to be productive and they want to be responsible so uh, especially in companies where are or if, if, if you um, in jobs when there is a need for responsibility a need of manage manage stuff uh, then this is a very good position for people again who want just a bit like Venus in Capricorn people who, who want this management um, or who have this management qualities actually um, so they have a need of security they, that's why they try to plan everything you know because they don't trust they don't always have the trust in life it's not like a moon in Pisces or um, so they have less trust in life and because they know the risks and they want to exclude every risk um, and um, yes of course sometimes they're really hard on themselves they don't pity themselves they um, are really hard when it comes to you know that moon in Capricorn they really want to master their emotions and, and say come on if there is a crisis come on I've got to plan and I've got to make sure that I make some structures um, and that I can deal with it in a better in a, in a good way that's basically the Capricorn um, sign so yes it's a very interesting sign for having Venus there and Moon there and it's um, oh, and it's very earthly. It's a very earthly sign, so it's very much feet on the ground. Um, it's a rather calm sign, and of course, in relationships too, it's very, very um, can be very reassuring when when you you live together with someone with that moon in in Capricorn. You know um, uh, uh, how they are going to react. They won't. Uh, it's not a moon in Aquarius who, who's acting unexpectedly or you can't pinpoint them but with uh, Capricorn you know hey this is someone who really values um, who really values responsibility and so on and so on the things I just told you before so I wish you uh, good luck with the moon and the Venus in Capricorn living together with someone it is truly a very uh, sincere and honest position of the moon and Venus. Wish you all the best. See you soon.